Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. Or maybe you didn't know that you wanted to learn it, but now that you have, you'll use it. But first, how would you like a cheat sheet? Hmm? Head over to graphicsgirl.com and get your free Photoshop cheat sheet. It'll show you all the shortcuts in the program, whether you're on a PC or Mac. Just click the link below. Here's how you can make a movie from your layers in Photoshop. I do this when I'm creating animations for my Instagram posts because Instagram unfortunately doesn't take animated GIFs. So I export my animation as a movie that I can upload. So here I have a layered PSD file that I've exported actually from my Illustrator file. And each layer has a frame by frame animation. You can do this where you have elements showing on and off. You don't have to reproduce each element on a layer. But like I mentioned, I'm taking this from my Illustrator file. So to make a movie from Photoshop, here's what you do. You come to Window, Timeline. When you select Timeline, at the bottom you'll see a section that says Create Video Timeline. You select all four layers that you have. So what you're going to do is click that button. And then an entire timeline shows up. What you'll see is all of your layers will now appear in a timeline. And there will be a progression. You can see here that the units of measure are in frames. In general, video uses 30 frames per second. You can resize your timeline area through the double-headed arrow at the top. And this is your playhead as it progresses through the timeline. So you can bring elements on in a staggered approach so that it begins, then next, next, next. So you can see that this is going to be my animation or my movie that I'd like to export. So it really comes down to duration. You can see at the bottom, it does say 30 frames per second. So. For my purposes on Instagram, I really only have a total of three seconds. So I need to catch their attention right away. I want my animation to be fairly quick to move along so that someone might see it in one second would be great. I want my entire duration to be no longer than 30 frames, which is one second. Of course, maybe you want your movie to be longer. So let me take a look here, 5, 10, 15, 20, and hold. So I'm just going to play it and see what it looks like. I do that by clicking the playhead. All right. So it's a frame by frame animation. It's not smooth as if I had done it in Adobe Flash or Animate. At the bottom here, they're showing you that you could stretch out your timeline to fill your screen a little bit more. That doesn't make it slower, it just fills the area with the frames that you're making so you have more room to see each. I'm going to make this one start at 5, so I stagger it by 5 frames. And look, there's an area here that you could add an audio track. For my purposes right now, I'm not going to. You have the option here to loop the playback. I'm going to go ahead and do that and see how it looks. So if someone were to stay on my post, perhaps they're reading the content below the post, it might animate over and over again. All right. See, so when you're hitting play, it toggles to the stop. So you just hit the stop button. And if you needed to, you have the ability to edit your video. And on the upper right hand corner where the options hamburger menu there of your timeline, if you click on that, you have more options. You can, there you go, split a playhead. You can move. You can convert frames into clips and animations. You have a lot of options here. You have the ability to also change the frame rate to be something other than 30 frames per second. So at the bottom here is your option to render video. When you choose that, it's uh, exporting, so give it a minute. 
When you click Render Video, you have the ability here in the Render Video dialog box to change the file name. I'm going to make this movie be uh, called Letting because that's what the animation's on. And note that the file format is MP4. Then you'll select where you're going to save the movie and it tells you here your file size. So perfect. For Instagram, it's 1080 by 1080. And our document frame rate, 30 frames per second. So with all of that, you're going to say all frames and you're going to render. This may take a little bit of time. Okay, let's go check it out. Perfect. It visualizes the concept I'm trying to get across, which is letting is the vertical space between lines. And that's how you make a movie from Photoshop. One more thing, if you are creating a movie for Instagram, then you need the movie to be three seconds long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go down, up, down to take up three seconds. So it's just a matter of continuing on in my timeline and having these elements no longer show. We have this one and then the next one that I want to start with is this same one and have all of these other ones go away. Here's the, what I mean. You see how it goes? It goes down and back up, right? And I could have it do it one more time and that would extend it out. I could keep this going until I hit three seconds. So then final step, as before, you click on the hamburger menu at the top of your timeline panel and you would choose render video. Just as before, you export it out as an MP4. And that's how you create a movie from Photoshop for Instagram. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. Mm. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.